Today I'm going to show you text to AI 3D, then I'm going to use Generative AI to take that 3D output and turn it into AI generated 2D rendered animation. And all of these tools today are going to be free, so let's get started and see what cool things we can achieve. Hey, you know, some days are always a little sad, but the day before is a sadder day. So for the first step here, we're going to be using motion and motion is a text to 3D tool. So this is full AI where we are creating a character moving and this is going to be a 3D character and rigged with skeleton and everything. So this is simply not just a 2D representation. This will be a 3D character that you can both use for 2D tools like Stable Fusion. You can also implement them into other 3D apps out there. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need to go into their Discord. I'm going to link that in the description below. So just go there, click the invite link. All this is uh, free to use. Now they have paid options, but you don't need to use them. You get a lot of credits with, with, with free plan. You don't even need to sign up. You can just join in the Discord here. So what you do is you have a lot of channels here. You need to check the ones that are called creation here. Let's say, for example, here we're in creation one. We're going to go slash motion and then space and we get a lot of options here. So here's your prompt. So let's say person walking, then sitting down. And we can choose from a couple of characters. We have a bot, which is similar to the one up here. We have a cat, a little tree character, a knight and a Santa. We're going to start with the knight here and then you can decide if a camera or a character should be in place or if it can move around in the scene. We're going to have this set at true and then you're just going to press enter. Now they have a creativity mode as well. So if you put dash dash CR and a value between zero and one, uh, you can change the creativity, which will uh, adjust how much the emotion you will get from this text to 3D thing. Hey, if you want to follow along more in detail, I have an in-depth guide on my Patreon where you can use as you're watching this video. I'm going to have a text guide with images and a more detailed instruction on all the settings and what you can do to achieve the best result possible. So check out my Patreon below where I will be having more of these guides and all of my files and resources available. So now we have our night here. We said person walk walking then sitting down we are getting two options our left one here is walking and then sitting down on what seems to be an invisible chair both of them look fairly okay maybe we wanted them to sit on the ground so if we try this again motion person walking then sitting down on ground now let's take one of the other characters we're gonna take Grovy here and we're gonna still keep this in place and we're generating this again. Now a good way to get some inspiration is to just look at what other people have been creating. Here's someone uh, who prompted swim in the sea. So we have the left one here is trying to swim. The right one, I have no idea what's going on, some kind of a dance there. But there we can see some swimming at least. We have a backflip kick here and the right person is backflipping and the left one is kicking there. Now ours is finished. We have the little grovy character here. So we have it Let's see if he will walk around or oh, it seems to be sitting down instantly. Okay, so the second one there. Now he's walking around. Now he's sitting down. He starts from, I said that the right character starts from sitting, goes up, walks around and will then sit down again. Let's try again just for good measure. Let's add creativity 0.6 maybe. See if that helps a little bit. I'm going to change the character. Let's take cat here. And we can keep in place. True. Now with everything generative AI, it will be a little hit and miss. But in general, I think these are pretty cool. And if you need some inspiration, you can always check the show and tell channel here. So there are a lot of videos and stuff here. So if you press one of them, you can see here's the input that they used and here's the output. For this specific one, they used Runway and Gen 1. Let's see what more is available. Here's another example with a character doing some sort of a jump kick. Roundhouse kick, yeah, I don't know. Here's a character running towards the camera. I think this uh, Stable Diffusion, what I would uh, guess it is. Could be Warp or something that's similar, but it could also this could be done in Animate Diff. So here's another one. It's a character uh, doing some sort of martial arts. You can see it's, it's a very short one there, but it works kind of cool. Oh, this is kind of creative. So they have a 
They're creating a fight here. This is cute. <laughs> yeah, I like this. Let's see if I can get it a little bigger for you guys. There we go. They're getting all my recommendations on the right here as well. Oh, so this was actually posted by Official Motion. So this wasn't made by anyone in the Discord, but still cool nonetheless. Pew, 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 pew. Anyway, let's get back to it. So let's see the cat here. The second one seems to be a little similar. I'm not sure if we're getting a similar seed on the skeleton there. That might be the case. Anywho, let's use this for our um, for our character. So you can save this either with FBX or move. Uh, we're going to take the move files here. We're just downloading them and we're going to see this is um, a test I did previously. So this is uh, just a bot uh, similar to this it is what we're going to get in the end. So this is another walk that I just uh, AI generated and then put it through Stable Fusion. Now the Stable Fusion workflow we are going to use doesn't support move files. However, uh, Adobe has a free move to MP4 converter. So we're gonna, just going to drag our move file into here and it says uh, hang on tight processing media and it, we will soon get our MP4 ready. Our mp4 is now finished here so we're just gonna download this file to our computer. After that we're gonna head into Comfy UI and um, if you need a guide to set this all up I have that on my channel and uh, the link in the top right corner now we're gonna be using animate diff I have a guide for that as well. We are be only gonna be using inner reflections video to video multi control net. So we're gonna have input video here we're gonna have control nets here and then we're gonna have and output video. So first off we want the VHS load video. I'm going to press here choose file to upload and then make sure that you get your new file with mp4. And we're going to take this previous one here. We're going to take that replace that with this one. I'm going to do this 768 by 768. I will be using the animerge here and just an anime VAE. And let's change the prompt here. Q chibi fla fluffy no plushy knitted panda toy character. All right. We're gonna leave a lot of the rest default. I'm just gonna change this to the LCM sampler so we can get some speed into this. And we're gonna add a Laura here. I'm gonna load the Laura. I'm gonna load the LCM Stable Fusion 1.5. Then I'm gonna drag the clip here from the model load checkpoint and I'm gonna take here from the model to the LoRa and then onwards to the animate diff loader. We're gonna change the steps here to eight and we're gonna lower the CFG to about two. Now we'll get some speeds into the generations here. I'm gonna raise the frame rate to 24 and I'm changing this to age 264 output. I'm gonna put ping pong to true which will help us loop the animation with a reverse. Now we're going to press Q prompt here and our video will be loaded here. We're going to see some preview images here once that's finished. So here are all the frames of our little cat moving around. And then the control net is going to load a depth map and an open pose of these frames, which we'll be able to see in the previews up here as soon as they are finished. So now our preprocessors has run and we can see the previews here. So the depth map, these are all the images from all the frames from the depth map. You can see the character moving around here. Our open pose, so the pose here, which is, looks like something like this, uh, has kind of failed in some of the frames or a lot of the frames. So I think I, we're gonna do a test also with a bot or something that looks more similar to a human that the preprocessor can test but we're gonna r keep running this and see what our end result is gonna be anyway because due to the depth map we have here we're still gonna get a, a pretty cool result and we can see it actually in the preview if I move this out here or actually in also in here so here's a, just a quick preview of what's going on this is just a low res this is not the end result this is not the quality we're getting but we can see that we are getting sort of a panda here in the same post that the cat had previously. So I'm sure we're going to get something cool out of this. But this will take quite some time because I, I ran the whole animation. What you could do to save some speed with this is change here frame load cap. So this will be the maximum number of frames that you would want. If you set this to like 12 frames, it's just going to be a short one, half to a second uh, animation. So you can see the settings before you start doing a full thing like I'm doing. But I'm going to catch up with you as soon as this one has finished and we're going to see the results. And then we're going to 
turn back and uh, create one with the human again so you can see the real skeleton of it so that's going to be super cool stick around so now we have our little character here it's standing up and it's uh, turning around now it is messing up because we didn't get the open pose face there so it's uh, the face turns you know on, on goes on the back side of the panda as well so that's not really something that we want so we're going to try and run this again with uh, one of the bots instead I think that's going to uh, help out a little bit. However, it was cool to get this um, the pose here, or actually the, the depth map of the character. So I have now instead, after I like cat here, I have uh, generated ballerina dancing beautifully. And we have a bot here. So I think our left character here is the one we're, we're going to use. So we're going to download that and we're just going to use the same steps as previously. We're going to convert this to MP4 and get it back into Stable Diffusion. So I've loaded my ballerina here instead. I'm going to skip every other frame by selecting two here. So we're going to get half the amount of frames, which will uh, speed up the process. I'm also going to change the prompt. So instead of our panda toy character here we're gonna have one girl ballerina dancing inside majestic castle ballroom beautiful lighting masterpiece golden hour maybe let's try that to see what we get like i told you previously also we can do is force uh, the frame load cap here so let's set this to 12 for example now we can quickly see what our animation would look like it's before we fully render it so we got our, our 12 preview frames here and our depth map should be and the open pose should be much quicker this time around which you can see here now and now the character looks much better we have a couple of frames we have the these two frames here this frame here looks to be a little broken but uh, i think we can live with that for now i'm not sure if that's a finger that's trying to get out of the way our images our animation has completed and we can see here now we have the ballerina which is uh, looking pretty good under the circumstances now we are running with the lcm sampler at eight steps so our quality is going to be lower for sure but i think just for a quick test here i'm fairly happy with this so i'm going to fully render this so i'm going to set load here for no no cap and then i'm gonna queue up this prompt fully and i'll see you back when it has finished so our rendering has finished now and we went from let's see if we can get the original up in here there we go they're not really synced but you can see how it's taking the the character here and just um, replacing it with this ballerina here and now it isn't perfect of course probably gonna need a couple of generations to get it done but I mean, it, it looks pretty cool still. We probably need to get rid of the LCM sampler and we can quickly try that here. Let's do just a regular old oil array. Let's do 30 steps. I'm gonna raise the CFG to about seven. Remove our lower right here. Drag that back into there. We're just gonna do 20 frames here now. So we've got our new one here. This is just 20 frames, so it's a very short one. But you can clearly see it's a little more consistent in general.